Okay, if you can hear me, type yes in the chat. Can you guys hear me? I have to mute everybody's microphone because I have to mute everybody's microphone because most of you do not know how to discipline yourself when it comes to a Zoom meeting. People were chatting happily, laughing and screaming and fighting in the background. That is disrupting everybody else. Okay, so you are all welcome. If you are here today, it means you passed your interviews and you have been selected to be part of 2024 batch of our applicants whom we are recruiting to the United States. Okay. Thank you for the confirmation in the chat. Most of you can hear me, so I believe the rest of you can hear me. Now, today, I'm going to do a short presentation, not more than 30 minutes, on the next steps from here. All right, so congratulations to all of you. We are excited you have joined us. We are excited you made it so far and you should be proud of yourself for being here. You should be proud of yourself for being here because that's a major step. Now, I'm going to do a quick, short presentation on the next steps. I need all of you to pay attention. Don't multitask. Don't be doing other thing else, okay? Just pay attention. I'm sure you have a lot of questions is going to be asked. First, who are we? So, Aguinaldo Ghana Recruitment Agency, we are licensed. Ah, Franca says you cannot hear me. Can you guys hear me? You guys can hear me, right? Can you all hear me? Yes, 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 thank you. Franca, check your microphone if you cannot hear me. Thank you guys for the confirmation. So Aguinaldo Ghana Recruitment Agency, we are registered and licensed as Aguinaldo Ghana Recruitment Agency Limited. The key here is registered and licensed. There are many, many people recruiting people all over the country without a license, or there's a problem, you have no safety net. We have gone through a rigorous registration licensing regime. There's a law in Ghana that requires that before you can recruit people, both in, for Ghana, domestic or for outside, you need to have a license. Beyond that, we are a member of the global Aguinaldo recruitment agencies around the world. We recruit exclusively for United Methodist Healthcare Recruitment Services that is based in Chicago. And I'm sure 
when you came for the in-person interview, you met the chief executive officer, Rose Olicapio of United Methodist. Now, your future employer, I'm sure by now you know, your future employer is United Methodist Healthcare Recruitment Services. And it's a brief about them. United Methodist Healthcare Recruitment Services has successfully provided many qualified health workers to non profit healthcare organizations in the United States since 2005. United Methodist started as a source of nurses for its owners, Chicago Methodist Senior Services. And it skilled nurses and rehabilitation services, but has since expanded to help other nonprofits with their staffing needs in the United States. You can get a lot more information about what United Methodist Healthcare Recruitment Services that who they are, what they do, what they have done in the last 20 plus years, recruiting nurses. Uh, from around the world to the United States. Now, <clears throat> United Methodist Healthcare Recruitment Services is owned, wholly owned by Chicago Methodist Senior Services. There are others who jointly own United Methodist Healthcare Recruitment Service. But Chicago Methodist started United Methodist Healthcare Recruitment Services. Now, and this is the story about Chicago Methodist. Chicago Methodist was founded in 1898. 1898 by a woman called Alice Hartwell who sought to provide a home and care to older adults in need. Over the past 125 years, Chicago Methodist Senior Services have provided care, programming, and services to tens of thousands of older adults and their family families in the United States. You must understand there's a, a culture in the US and most European countries that's different from our culture in Africa and part of Asia. In our culture, your parents take care of you when you are a child so that when you grow up, you also take care of them when they are old. In the US and in Europe, it is totally different. It is totally different. The older you become, the more independent you want to be. So parents, when they grow up and they are no longer able to work, there are designated places for the nursing homes they retire to. And then there are nurses and doctors that take care of them on call 24 seven. One of such is Chicago Methodist, 125 years old. Just think about it, 125 years old. So you're going to be part of an organization and a culture that had developed 125 years ago. It's a proud history you're going to really enjoy. It's a family you are going to belong to. You would not be, you, I mean, once you start working for Chicago Methodist or United Methodist, you will not want to leave. I'm not just saying it, but if they have existed for 125 years, there must be something right they are doing. Okay, 
So at the Leonardo Recruitment Agency, this is our uh, registration information. So the one on the left is our registration document. And the one on the right is our license. Okay, so you see license to operate a private employment agency. I hereby certify that at the Leonardo Ghana Recruitment Agency Limited, having complied with section 171 of the Labor Act 2003 at 651, is hereby licensed to operate as a private employment agency with effect from 12th October, 2023. This license authorizes you to recruit workers for employment, both in Ghana and outside. This license is valid for a period of 12 months from the date of issue, given under my hand at Accra this 12th day of October, 2023, uh, signed the Honorable Minister Ignatius Bafua Ewa, Minister for Employment and Labor Relations. So it's a license you need to renew annually. Okay, so that is who we are. <clears throat> now, let's come to you. Where are you in the process so far? Being here means you have been interviewed and selected to be part of this year's successful applicants for our program. You should have received a firm offer for employment as either a registered nurse, and this is restricted for those with degree in nurses, and or a certified nurse assistant. There are a few midwives that we have also selected uh, those with degree in midwifery that we have also selected to, to be part of the registered nurse program. The rest of midwives and all other health workers, plus a few non-health workers, had been offered the certified nursing assistant program. So you have the offer letter by now. You may have accepted the offer by now, by now, by emailing a signed copy of the offer letter to the specified email address only. My dear friends, you need to pay attention. We have come to realize most of you have a reading problem. You have a reading problem. Whatever you need to do is in the mail we sent you. You are simply not reading. If you want to be successful on the program, on this program, and you are somebody who doesn't like reading, I am sorry, you should stop the program now. This is not a senior high school where a teacher will come and stand on your neck. Okay, download the form, sign here. Use a pen to sign. Use a blue pen, don't use a black pen. Stamp here, email it to this email address, no. If you are that person, I'm sorry, you are in the wrong place. Everything you need to do, everything you need to know will always be sent to you by email and other form of communication on the various Telegram page, the WhatsApp platform you are. So read and read with a purpose to understand. Let me come back to the point I was making. About several people called and said, sir, I have received the offer letter. What should I do with the offer letter? Jesus Christ, read. You will know exactly what you must do. You are simply to download that document after reading and you are comfortable with the offer and you want to accept. There's a portion where you need to sign. My God, people call and say, sir, how do I sign? If you don't know how to sign, you don't have a business to be part of this program. Sign the offer letter. When you finish, scan it and email it back to the email address you received the email from. It is even in the same email. 
And for those who are refusing to read, the deadline for submitting the signed offer letter is Friday, March 29, 2024. This very Friday. If you submit your offer letter, sign offer letter beyond that, we will reject it. Accepting the offer is not by sending an email and say, I accept the offer. That is not how to accept the offer. How to accept the offer is in the mail you got. Read it. You will know exactly what you must do. Those of you who keep sending the email, you reply to the mail, I accept the offer. And they will not even add their names. I think we should know them automatically just by saying, I accept the offer. Majority of you, 98% of you, you accepted the offer, you sign, you scan, you email, you only dump the email. You only drop an attachment. No name, no nothing. So we have to take our time and figure out, okay, who has sent this email? What did the person is trying to say? We receive thousands of emails from all over the world. If you drop an, uh, an acceptance letter, just an attachment, bam. It will take forever for us to respond to you. And going forward, it's an email communication. When we send you an email, see how we add information, just for you to understand. Even that, you still don't understand. And you don't even add a single message to your mails. How do we understand you? Okay, so before I digress again, read that offer letter, you are comfortable with it and you want to accept it. There is a way to accept it, it's in the mail. Accept it by downloading the offer letter, sign it, scan it, email it back. Some can, some can also do, those who are a bit technologically savvy, they do the digital signature. Perfect. It is perfect. At this point, if you are not technologically savvy, I'm, I'm, af I'm afraid you must start revising your note because you are aiming to go to the United States of America, the technology capital of the world. If you are not aware, so those uh, things we have been doing here. Please move away from it. It's not going to help you on the phone. Okay. Now, if you have submitted your signed copy of the offer letter, we're going to respond to your mails from 1st of April. We're going to respond to all of you. But the next step will be to do your pre-employment medical examination. Remember, this is an employment, this is recruitment. We are recruiting you for job. And therefore you need to meet the job requirement. Just as the job you're doing, you may have gone through medical examination to be able to, for your employer to be comfortable that you are medically fit for the work. Exactly the same thing. You're going to go through a number of medical examinations on the program, some in Ghana, others in the US, at least two in Ghana, two in the US when you arrive. The first one is this pre-employment medical examination. And in the email you got with the offer letter, the email came with a detailed breakdown of the fees. I get the question, sir, how do I pay the fees? It's in that document to, to read. You will need to pay the appropriate fees shown in the breakdown of the fees you receive in your email accompanying the offer letter. In the designated bank account only, you pay the medical examination fee. It is stated there in the breakdown of the fee. It's there, black and white. Look for it, you'll find it. Go and pay that amount. You can either pay CD equivalent 
on the day on the exchange rate ruling on the day you are paying, or you can pay the dollar equivalent. In the breakdown of the fee, the document that came with the breakdown of the fee, you will see the bank account. There's one for US dollar, there's one for Ghana CD. If you are paying Ghana CD, pay into the Ghana CD account. If you want to pay US dollar from anywhere in the world, including Ghana, use the US dollar bank account. When you are finished paying, you email a copy of the receipt of your payment to medicals at aguinaldogh.com. I'm going to post the email address after the orientation in the various WhatsApp pages where you are. You email a copy of it. Now, before my people ask me, how do we email? Take a picture of it and email it. We will then send you a letter after receiving your evidence of payment, we'll send you a letter. A letter you must print hard copies of and send it to our designated laboratory. There's only one lab in Ghana that does all our medical examination for us. And that lab is called Sin Lab Ghana. Sin Lab Ghana used to be called Med Lab. Med Lab. They have been doing the medical examination for the US Embassy. So you go to this same lab, their head office for your medical examination. Now, the medical examination will cover the following. There will be a chest X-ray for TB. There will be HIV AIDS screening. There will be hepatitis B test. There will be hepatitis C. There will be FBS. We're trying to find out if you are have or are at risk of diabetes. There will be drug use screening and there will be physical examination. There will be no pregnancy test. There will be no pregnancy test. So ladies, don't worry about whether you are pregnant or not. You are fine, even if you are pregnant. Now, on the day of your appointed medical examination, you will have to arrive at SINLAB head office. Ladies and gentlemen, I pray you are listening to me. The medical examination will only take place at SINLAB head office, not in any of their branches, only in their head office, in Accra. You must get there by before 9 a.m., before 9 a.m. Go on an empty stomach. Don't eat before you go. And then for my ladies, you must be there when you are not in the time of the month. Attending your medical examination. We will schedule you for your medical examination at St. Labiana head office. You will find them in Accra, behind golf house, and behind the NMC head office, so the nurses and midwives. If you know where the NMC head office is, around Shiashi in Accra, that is where you go. You must arrive on your scheduled date before 9 a.m. Go on an empty stomach, and when you are not in the time of the month, Gentlemen, this one, you will never understand it. It's only for the ladies. You will not last more than two hours on the day of your appointment at Senla. It's normally 45, to one hour, 45 minutes to one hour. You are done. Medical examination results and draft employment contract. Upon completing your medical examination, Sin Lab Ghana will send us your results, will send us the results of your medical examination directly. They will not give you the results on that day. When you finish, you leave. 
they will send us an email with a copy of your results. We will then email you a copy of that medical examination. Tentatively, we are looking at no more than 24 hours after your medical examination, you would have received the result. No more than 24 hours. Upon passing your medical examination, you will also receive a draft employment contract. So when we are emailing the medical examination result to you, we'll also email your draft employment contract. We'll give you time to discuss the draft employment and consult anybody you want to consult, including your attorneys, your lawyers, your family, anybody. Once you are ready, we'll, uh, I mean, we'll be talking and then arrange on a date convenient for you and a venue convenient for you for us to sign your employment contract. Those in Accra, there will be a venue where we'll meet, we'll sign a contract. Those in Kumasi and the other regions will arrange and sign your employment contract. Now, once your employment contract is signed, executed, we will automatically enroll you on the 16 weeks training for either NCLEX, for those doing NCLEX, or CNA, for those doing CNA, whether you have paid for it or not. So at that point, whether you have paid for the course or not, we will automatically enroll all of you upon passing the medical. So from there, you will now take your time to make arrangements to pay your fees as you go along. The 16 weeks training. For both NCLEX and CNA applicants, you will go through a compulsory 16 weeks training online, preparatory for your NCLEX or CNA examination. So it's a 16 weeks online training. You can do it on your phone, your tablet, your laptop, wherever you are, whenever. We have done the course, everything is on your dashboard. We only uh, enroll you, provide you with your login, username and password. Anytime you, are you feel ready, you log in to do your course. So whether in the morning, in the afternoon, in the night, in the dead of night, in the time you log in, you do your coursework. It is on demand and it's available. So, I mean, your pace, it is at your own convenience. We are not saying because of 16 weeks, by all means, you must finish or you must do the course in 16 weeks. Some may do it in one month. Some may do it in uh, six weeks. Others may do it in 10 weeks. Others may do it in, I mean, we have students from our, our previous batch who are now taking their exams eight months down the line. So it is entirely at your own pace. Now for NCLEX applicants, uh, NCLEX applicants will be flown to Manila, Philippines, six weeks ahead of your final NCLEX examination. You will also take the NCLEX examination there before coming back. So six weeks ahead of the NCLEX will fly you to the Philippines. The, uh, on the 16 weeks training, there will be an instructor teaching you the NCLEX. And this instructor is the head of Aguinaldo Recruitment Agency in the Philippines, in Manila. She is a registered, a US registered nurse for 30 years now. And she will be teaching you the NCLEX. Now we'll fly you there so that devoid of interaction from work, from family, from friends, social activities, morning, afternoon, evening, intensive six weeks, one-on-one -on -one, in person and then you take the NCLEX there. You pass, you come back. 
For CNAs, we are not flying you anywhere. You will take your final CNA exams in our offices in Kumasi, in Ghana, at the end of your 16 weeks training, or any time you feel ready to take the exam. There is a booking system you will use. It's already on your dashboard. When we enroll you on your dashboard, we will give you orientation how to navigate. So there are um, applications you can use to book to take your exams anytime you feel ready. We'll guide you through all that. Now, so when you finish the 16 weeks, you have passed your NCLEX or your CNA, the next step is to start filing for your green card. Upon passing your green NCLEX or CNA exam, we will immediately start filing for your green card. We will first file separately for your permanent labor certification from the US Department of Labor. In fact, this is for CNAs. CNAs will need to first file for your permanent labor certification. Along the line, we'll tell you, or you can Google and find out what permanent labor certification is about. And you'll see timelines. This uh, uh, US Department of Labor is the Ghana's equivalent of Ministry of Labor of the United States. In the US, the ministries are called departments. Okay, so Ministry of Health in the US will be Department of Health. Ministry of Education will be Department of Education. So Department of Labor is Ministry of Labor. You go to their website, read about uh, permanent labor certification, and you see what it is about. But basically, it's a, certific a certificate the Department of Labor will issue to your employer, United Methodist, to allow United Methodist to come to Ghana, to come and recruit you and take you to the US to live and work permanently in the United States to live and work permanently for the rest of your life in the United States. So with our program, we sort out the question, how long are you going to live in the US? It is permanent. You are going for the rest of your life. Now, upon receipt of your green card approval, we will then file for your legally married spouse and all your children even if there are 10 of them, each of them will get green cards just like you. Each of your children will get green cards just like you. We will pay for your green card, your visa, your air ticket, and two months of housing in Chicago when you first arrive. I'm sure we explained this during the orientation before the interview, but I want to reiterate it. We will pay for all those for you, our applicant. But for your spouse and children, you will pay their visa fees and air tickets for your spouse and children. Uh, suffice to say, we have some arrangement where we can support you when the time comes, when you don't have the money to pay for your spouse's air ticket and your children's air ticket will have some arrangement to help you when you get there, you pay us. But for now, the baseline is we pay everything for you, our applicant, you are going to work for us. Your spouse, your children are not our applicant, but we will pay for the green card filing. And when you come to the visa and air ticket for your spouse and your children, you applicant, you would have to pay for them. Now, paying for your program. And I want all of you to pay attention here because the question, it is there black and white in the document we sent you, but it's a question you always keep asking anyway. You will pay for the program at your own convenience. We do not have any specified time or deadlines for paying your fees. By now, how much you are to pay, you already know. 
is in the document you have received. If you don't know how much you are paying, I'm sorry, you are in the wrong place. You should not be here. So, the figure you see, you have a, we have proposed payment arrangements for you, comfortable for your pocket, as we think. Now, when to pay is entirely up to you. You pay as and when you feel financially ready and capable. Payments, however, will be made at the exchange rate ruling on the day of your payment. You can pay from anywhere in the world using the provided bank account details you receive. You can pay from anywhere in the world. Once the, the bank account, whether your parent is paying from the US or Ukraine or Russia or Azerbaijan or Nigeria or India, just use that bank account. Once you are outside, you use the SWIFT code. There's a SWIFT code in that bank account details and you can pay from anywhere. You can also use Visa card, MasterCard, wherever you are, you can pay. Now, the one more important thing, all fee payment shall be through our bank account only. And you already have those details. We don't have any middleman. We don't have any agent. We don't have any representative acting on our behalf anywhere in this world. If somebody had approached you and told you that they are our agent, that person is a fraudster and a liar. Let me say that again. If somebody had approached you, whether I introduce you to the program or help you in any part in filling a form, submitting a document, and they claim they are acting on our behalf, they are liars. We don't have any such people. You are going to deal with us directly every step of the way. This is why we have created various social media channels convenient for you to ask questions anytime, any, any day, any point. If you have a question to ask, ask on the page. We may have provided the answers already, but if you don't see it, ask on the page. If we have provided the answer, somebody will guide you, hey, the answer is already here. If it's not, we'll provide the answer on the page so that it helps all others who are on the page with similar questions. Don't ask your friends or your mates. They are as blind as you are on the program. Your pace on the program. We have a batching system for filing your green cards. We do not file per class. Here, I want you to listen carefully. We have interviewed and, and over, by the last count, a little over 400 people have passed the interview. We are not going to say we are waiting. We are not going to say we are waiting for all of you to finish before we start filing your green card. We are not going to uh, send everybody at a go to the US. It's going to be a batching system. And the batching system is first come, first serve. So whoever paid first goes to the program, finish early, pay your fees, we file for you. That is what we've been doing all this time. If you ask people who are already on the program, they'll tell you. We don't wait for the whole class to finish before we start filing. No. If you finish yours today, we'll file for you today. If you finish yours tomorrow, we'll file it tomorrow. 
If you finish in 10 months later, we'll file for you 10 months later. So please bear that in mind. So everything is entirely at your own pace and your convenience. We have had a number of you contacting us requesting a change in their programs, especially those we have offered the NCLEX program. A number of you want to change to CNA. Yes, we'll be happy to change it for you. If you feel, I mean, you look at your time schedule and the workload on you, you may not have the time and the dedication required for the NCLEX will encourage you to change, contact us, will happily change your program from NCLEX to CNA for you. Now, just as we told you at the orientation for the interviews, all CNAs, when you finally get to the US, we will register you, prepare you to ride the NCLEX in the United States. So don't be swayed by the beautiful name NCLEX and the hype people put on it. NCLEX sounds beautiful and hypey, hippie but you can easily fail that exam. And if you fail once, it, it disorganizes you. There are people not on our program that had gone, they said they have been self-sponsorship. They went to take the NCLEX, they failed. Then the, as soon as they failed, the spirit of going to the US totally disappears in them. So if you know you are unable to provide or make available the time, the energy, the commitment required. The NCLEX is a rigorous program. The exams is not easy. If you know you not have that um, dedication, commitment for the NCLEX, you can kindly change to CNA. CNA is easy to go through, it's easy to pass. You pass, you are getting the green card, the NCLEX people are getting, you are getting the visa, the NCLEX people are getting, your dependents are going with green cards just like you, just like the NCLEX. When you get to the US, you write the NCLEX, life continues. To help you change the deadline for doing this is Monday, April 15, 2024. Beyond Monday, April 15, 2024, there will be no further changes in the course. Now, the question about IELTS. We will use your IELTS results for your visa screen certificate. I need you to listen carefully. We will use your IELTS results to file for your visa screen certificate. But we will only do this after we have received your green card approval. So imagine when we are going to get your green card approval. You do medical examination, sign employment contract, you start system risk course, we register, you go and take the exams, we file for you. It's after getting the green card some months down the line before we we'll need your IELTS results to get you a document called Visa Screen Certificate. This is a certificate you need to take along to the US Embassy in Accra for your visa interview. With that, you are 95% guaranteed of your visa. Once you have the visa screen, your spirit is already in the US. We only left to carry your body to join your spirit in the US. 
but we'll need it. We'll need we'll only do the visa screen after your green card approval. Now, as you may have seen already in the breakdown of the fees we sent you, there is provision for IELTS in the costs. NCLEX applicants will need IELTS standard academic with overall band score of 6.5 and speaking 7.0. CNAs will need IELTS general training with overall band score of 6.0 with speaking 6.5. We will train you, register you, give you the books, the tutorial, the trial test. We have a solid partnership with the British Council. Before you go and take the IELTS proper, we organize trial tests where the IELTS uh, British Council official examiners will test you, okay? And be sure you are ready to pass the IELTS before you go and take the IELTS. And we will register you at the right time for the IELTS. We time the IELTS so that you have a valid IELTS results when you arrive in the US for license transfer from Chicago to your final assigned state. If I, I can explain here, when you get to Chicago, you may be having a nursing license linked to either the Chicago State Board of Nursing or New Mexico State Board of Nursing. You'll be in Chicago for a minimum of two months, sometimes three months, go through orientation and so on and so forth. You will need a license during that time. And that license will be Chicago uh, State Board of Nursing License, either for NCLEX or CNA, or New Mexico State Board of Nursing. Whatever it is, you would have a license that allows you to practice in Chicago. Now, after the orientation, we will now assign you to a state, your final state. Let's say New York, you are going to New York or Iowa or Nebraska or Pennsylvania. The license you have in Chicago will not permit you to practice in those states. You will need that state license. You can do what you call a license transfer from Chicago to your new state. But before you can do that, you need a valid IELTS result. This is why we time our IELTS in a way that you get the visa screen, you go to the US, with the same IELT, you do license transfer. You don't waste money. So we told you this during the orientation. I want to say it again. Don't be in a rush to transfer. Sorry, don't be in a rush to go and take the IELT. If you have registered already and you want to be part of our program, you have registered for the IELT, you have booked for the IELT and you want to be part of our program, please go and reschedule the IELTS date to a much, much, much later date. Because if you rush to go and take it, it is very likely you will, it is very likely you will retake the test. Okay. Our working hours. We work on Mondays to Fridays from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. each day. We do not work beyond these hours. We do not work on public holidays, and most definitely we do not work at night. There are a number of you who have the habit of calling at ungodly hours. Please stop it. We don't appreciate that. If you have any question, any clarification, any issues to, you have from Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. to call and ask and email and so on and so forth. 
Okay. All right. That is it. Now I'm going to open the floor for questions and I'm going to unmute your my uh, I'm going to unmute your microphone so that you can ask questions. Now I want discipline here. No making noise in the background. Please make sure your microphone is muted all the time. Make sure your microphone is muted all the time. And then before you ask a question, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Then I will give you, a, I'll call your name, I'll mention your name before you unmute your microphone and you start speaking. Okay. I have one hand up. Let me see whose hand is there. Uppington, Diana. Diana. You have the floor. Diana Appen. Yeah, good morning, sir. Good morning. How Thank you, you so much for your presentation. You're welcome. Thank you too for the opportunity you've given some of us to join your able. Yeah. I, I wanted to know from your opinion, the RGS who are we prefer to go as CN, CNAs, then when we get there, we write the NCLEX. Is it advice, on which one is faster? Do you go as the NCLEX right from, or when you get there, you write, which one is faster? As you have been in this for long, which one do you advise? Okay, Diana, this is my advice to you. If you want to go faster, <laughs> I was going to use, Diana, on our program, yes, you are going to the US for the rest of your life. Please provide for two years duration for okay. everything. Okay. If you're able to commit that, we'll be happy to help you. But if you want to okay. go in three months and six months, I am sorry, we cannot help you. Okay. Okay, thank you, sir. You're most welcome. Regina, Ewa, you have the floor. Okay, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, it's 12 o'clock. Okay, and um, please, um, per the breakdown of the fees in your presentation, does it mean that we are to pay um, $500 um, for the medicals in full? If, it, if, it, if, if that is what is indicated in front of medicals, then yes, that is what you are supposed to pay. Oh, yes. okay. Can I help you? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> you money. What money? Galaxy A10, please mute your microphone. Okay, Emmy, you have the floor. Uh, oh, my mute. Right. Am I pronouncing the name right? Emmy Baku, can you hear me? Okay, Emmy seems not to be with us. Uh, who is iPhone? iPhone, the person. You yes, know. please. What's your name? Please, there? I'm Collins. Collins. Collins, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Okay. Okay. So now. Ah, please, can I speak now? Yes, Collins, you go on. Okay, please, my question is concerned about the acceptance letter. <laughs> after after sending my after sending my acceptance yeah. letter, uh, I was expecting to get a notification that uh, you have received the letter. 
So I've checked no, no, no. my Gmail for the past days that I've sent. So I don't know that maybe you have received the acceptance of it. So I'll just need a clarification about that, please. Uh, this lady using Galaxy G10S, you are continuously disturbing us. I'm drawing your attention. You're not minding me. I am taking you hey. to Zoom. No. No. It's obvious you are just connected. You are not paying attention. So better remove you so that you stop disturbing us. I assume you are not here from the beginning of my presentation. I said from 1st April going, we'll start replying to all those who have submitted the acceptance form by mail. We'll start okay. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you, too. Baba Mohammed, your hand is up. <laughs> Hello, please. Uh, thank you, sir. Afternoon. Uh, if my question is, um, after after paying uh, the the uh, the lab the laboratory test and you have passed the test and you finish the sixteen weeks training for code or code, flying to the uh, Medina or Madiana Madiana or what they call it, are you supposed to pay for it? It is in the breakdown of the fees. Please read the fees you have received. The answer is there. Okay. Thank you. Mohammed is a perfect example of all of you. You refuse to read. It's in the document we have sent you. Why don't you read? Abigail, you have the floor. Hello, Abigail. Okay, Abigail doesn't seem. Juliana Saki. Please, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Abigail. Go ahead now. Please, my question is um, about important facts about the process. Option nine. Uh, I learned that upon passing the visa interview, we will send you your air ticket and you must fly to USA two weeks after receiving your air ticket. Oh, no, no. It's about timeline for filing. Part three. It said, if we do not encounter any problem in any of the filing process, the whole process should take two to three years for you to be in the USA. So does it mean after going through uh, the exams and everything, it will take about two years for us to go to the USA? Yes, obviously, you have not been paying attention. I have just answered that question. The answer is yes. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I think most of your questions are now repeated questions, repeated things we have already answered. Uh, if you have a repeated question, please don't ask. Maybe it's Dakora Finn, you have the floor now. Mavis Dakora. Or Hello, Dakora. Sir. Yes, Mavis. Yeah, sir. Sir, good morning. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Uh -huh. Please, um, my question is concerning the medicals. Do we have a deadline for the medicals? Um, we have not decided that, but as of now, no, we don't have a deadline for the medicals. Okay. I should the deadline come up? Should a deadline should a deadline come up? We will uh, notify all of you on the page and then through emails. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome, Millicent. Your hand is up. Millicent, your hand is up. Sir. Yes, Melissa. So during your presentation, you did mention that for those who go with a CNA, when they get to the US, uh, there is a possible training to write the end list. I wanted to find out if it will come with extra costs, please. 
Um, Millicent, I said it many, many, many times. I don't know how else I should say it so that you understand. So I'm going to say it one more time. We will pay to register you to ride the NCLEX there. Okay, Abena Daniels. Hello, Hello, sir. Yes, Abena. Sir, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please, my question is, uh, when we went to the interview, it was stated that you can pay half of your fees. When you get there, then you pay the extra half. So I want to know if after paying the half, all your documents will be, will be processed for you to go. Yes, madam. And, and that is exactly okay. what is also stated in the document you received. I don't know if you have read it. Okay. I yes, said, uh, please, my next question is, mm -hmm. is the medicals and the IED fees part of the fee that we are supposed to pay? Oh, my dear, read the document. So, yes, it is there. It's in the breakdown of the fees. They okay, are thank you, sir. My people, read, oh, read, 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 read. Mary, say, what do you see? <coughs> Mary, say, what do you see? Hello. Yes, Mary, go ahead. Hello, good afternoon. Afternoon. I think, part of, yeah, I think part of my question is already answered. Oh, okay. As the beginner, as the beginner, is when you get the the time to write the answer. I also wanted to know if that time your art will be valid. Then you get there and you have to write for the anchor. Are you going to write if the anchor is I mean the Art is a side. Are you to write art again before you write the English over there? No, 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 no. Once you get to the US with your green card, you started working as CNAs and then you write the NCLEX, you no longer need the IELTS. We need the IELTS for your visa screen, for visa interview. You're already, you're already in the US, you are not going for any visa interview again. You also need IO to do um, license transfer. On, most likely, you would have done your license transfer already. So you will no longer need the IO when you are already in the U.S. Okay. I believe uh, that's about it. I promise you. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Please, can I talk? Quickly, what's your name? Uh, my name is um, Zara. Um, Sorry? Please, I'm um, Zara. Zara Mark. Zara, can you please, speak? Please, I want to ask. Okay, please, I'm Zara Mark. And please, I want to ask. Um, with what you said, um, we are supposed to pay the medicals before we started. So we don't have pay half. So what will happen to us? Sir David. All right. Uh, Hello. Please, good afternoon. Can I come in? I want to ask a question. Okay, quickly. We want to wrap up now. Yeah, okay. Please, uh, the question is still about uh, the half payment of the fee. Please, uh, at what point in time do we make that? Uh, because I saw in the email that when you want to pay half, and you also said it that when you want to pay half, you can pay half. But uh, is there a letter that you signed or something so that yeah, people will know? Like, is there a letter that you signed or what is the procedure? I understand your question. 
I'm I'm asking that the the payment uh, for said, the program. I have a question. The payments for the program. We are talking about half payment. So I want to know whether it, it's a uh, it's a contract that we will be signing, or is it part of the contract that we will be signing? Once again, I can't understand your question. You are paying half of the fees. Yeah, when you get the fees, you pay. So what contract again? Contract on the fee you are paying. Please come cladding here what you're saying. Sir, can you please give me a minute? Sir, I have the last question. Yeah. Hello, sir. So, I think now no? I'm not respecting the rule. You raise your hand before you start speaking. You are getting chaos yeah, in the house. Raise my hand for long. I've not been called. Yeah. My hand has been raised, sir. What is your question, Zakaria? <laughs> yeah, this is, I have a question, please. What is your question? Sir? Yeah, um, I, I want to find out. Uh, you know, um, you, you, were, you, you, were, you told us that we we have. The question. What is the question? What is the question? I, I, I think to me. Yes. What is your question? Yes, I know. Um, after the medical examination, after you pass the medical examination, we have two years to prepare, and within this period, anything can happen. So I want to find out after the. Uh, the person there, the medical examination, would you uh, be made to uh, perform another medical examination with the U.S. Embassy before you go? That is the first question. The second question is that uh, you, you, made, you made mention of some interest after the half payment. Yeah, is it, can you throw more light on the interest payment? Uh, I, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Right. These are questions for the future. Uh, we'll answer them as we go along. Okay. Let's focus on the first thing is you go do your pre employment medical. Yeah. Hello, sir. Please give me the chance to ask a question. You can come and sign your contract, we'll enroll you on the 16 weeks. There, there are so many things on the program. We cannot talk or I mean, discuss all of them in one minute. And need to give us to go along. So I want us to end here. It's 12 15. I have coming up. If there are further questions you have, you have the page. Ask the questions on the page. We'll answer them as we go along. Well, for coming, I we're grateful to all of you. Have a good afternoon and goodbye to you. Thank you very much. Thank you.